Gordon Mann here for D3Hoops.com, joined by Emma McCarthy, the tournament's most outstanding player. Emma, first off, as a number of people I'm sure have already said to you over the last 10 minutes, congratulations on the championship. You. You've got a big smile. What's it feel like? It hasn't sunk in. It's, it's really unreal. Um, going out 66-0, and 0, we never really worried about that winning streak, but today it's really sinking in. Um, I'm actually done my basketball career, so it's, it's pretty bittersweet and pretty sentimental having everyone here and going out on top. Okay. Tell me, we talked a little about this before off camera, tell me about your trip here to Amherst from Fairfield. Yeah, so um, I was just uh, had my AU coach and was looking to transfer and the first guy I called was Coach Gramacki and he said, I'd love to have you get <laughs> come and I was right there and I haven't missed a beat since and it's been a phenomenal experience um, last year and this year. Uh, Past and present players have been phenomenal, and it's just been an amazing experience. We had a, a column by uh, by uh, Adam Turr earlier this week where he says, everybody has their Amherst moment where Coach Kramacki says, defense is how we win. What was your Amherst moment? I don't even know, honestly. It's <laughs> But the second I walk onto the campus, um, I, kn I didn't start right away, and I knew if I wanted to be a presence on this team, I needed to buy into his defensive um, mentality. And I think... That's what drives our team, and it really makes our offense come a lot easier. And if we don't have those big defensive stops like we did tonight, we wouldn't be where we are. You're athletic to play, athletic enough to play guard, but at this level, you're big enough to play forward or center. How much of an adjustment was that for you tonight? You were in the post with a with a taller player denying the ball. Was that a big? Not necessarily tonight, but over the course of your Amherst career, was that an adjustment? Yeah, I think specifically to Bowdoin, um, they're an SCAC team, so we've played them already this season. And I kind of got beat a lot when we were switching on the guard, so I knew coming into tonight's game that needed to be a big emphasis. I needed to perform a little better and come out on the screens and be ready to guard a guard. If she wanted to take me off the dribble, I needed to be prepared. And I took that pretty personally. I, I kind of saw it on film. I got called out a few times just uh, from film, and I think that was the best way to go about it because it really sunk in, and I knew that if we were going to be successful, we couldn't let those easy, easy buckets on their guards um, get to the rim on me. So I took it personally and didn't let it happen, I feel like. Well, you also had 25 points and 12 rebounds, so you obviously played well on the other side of the court. Did you see something in film and in your preparation that helped you know that you were – going to be able to take advantage you had so many looks where you made one or two steps to the right or the left and just left your defender in the dust was there something that you saw in film to set that up no I don't think so I think uh the coaches did a phenomenal job preparing us um in our shoot around today yeah. we knew we needed to come off screens hard and uh you were either going to have the drive off the screen or the inside presence and I think our team did a really good job of getting it inside and then when I was covered and doubled uh Cam and Hannah and Maddie too and the other Hannah they both had had their feet set ready to shoot those shots and everyone hit big shots tonight which was super important Maddie down the stretch there Hannah Fox and Hannah Hackley getting those easy layups and Cam hitting those major threes I don't think you came off the court till there was a minute and a half left were you tired at all no I uh I would got subbed in the first or right. the first half I had a few fouls um okay. I just had a break there but I don't know the adrenaline at this point um yeah. it's it doesn't really matter at this point. My career is over. I just needed to leave it out on the court, and nothing was going to stop me. Uh, last, uh, actually, two last questions for you, because it's always an interesting answer when you talk to the students from the NESCAC. What are you studying? What do you hope to do next? Yeah, so um, I'm different. I uh, so I'm a junior academically, but a senior basketball is because my eligibility with transferring. So I'm actually going to go abroad next fall. Um, and then hopefully I'm going to come back and uh, Jade's our student assistant right now. And so I'm looking to come back and help coach uh, have a little different presence on the court. Um, Where do you want to go? Uh, I just got accepted to Rome. Ooh, very yep. nice. Yep. Ever been? No. Okay. Yep. So I'm excited to take that. Um, definitely going to be a little different just doing school, yeah. which uh, I've always been a student athlete. So it's pretty pretty sad that my career is coming to an end but um i hope to get out in the court uh come next next yeah. <laughs> next yeah, spring semester <laughs> and last question for you i told you this off camera i met your family coming in uh your dad was super excited yesterday i'm sure he's even more excited now tell me about the folks who came here to rochester with you yeah um i don't even know what to say they've given me all uh they gave me the opportunity to transfer which is amazing my mom and dad are phenomenal um 
my two sisters actually flew out this morning to surprise me. Um, my, and so I have uh, three out of my four sisters and my other sisters at home definitely watching. And uh, my grandparents, they came last year. They made my sisters drive out to Michigan um, and they called up last weekend and they said, okay, if we have to fly, I'm gonna come out to Minnesota. So my two grandparents are phenomenal. My grandma's home watching, and she calls after every game before I could even get into the locker room. So my voicemail is filled with her. So, <laughs> And I have aunts and uncles and yeah. everyone, and it's just, it's really special to cherish these moments this year and last year. And I just, I, I have to give it to all of them for giving me this opportunity and supporting me, and it's just amazing. Well, we'll let Emma go call her grandmother the most outstanding player in a most outstanding season. For D3Hoops.com, this is Gordon Mann.